why I look like every light skin rapper who went to go change their image and go hardcore with the two strand twist. I look like Mac Daddy or Daddy Mac, and I look like Chris from Criss Cross or Chris. They were both named Chris too. Oh my God. No, yes, no, not Criss Cross. I'm talking about uh, Kid and Play. The light skin nigga's name was Chris. Yeah. Who cares? The point I'm making is it was Chris, 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 and I look like all of them. It is. They got said Chris, 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 and I look like all two of them. Yeah. Before we run out of time, I hopped on this thing because I told him that I'm very passionate about this spiritual, <laughs> this spiritual stuff, and he's like, I'm gonna tell you this, and you don't take it the wrong way. He's like. All you're doing is, he's like, look, I love you and I support you. But all you're doing is you're on your next cockamamie, I can't even say the word. Cockamamie. Cockamamie scheme about this is going to be the one. And I'm like, yeah, I own it. I am on to my next. But if a couple videos back, I already told you why I jump from thing to thing to thing. And I'd be so serious about it because I'm learning shit. But anyway watch the original video anyway so then he's like i said no okay but think about all those other things i did in the past how many of them have i been this passionate about and like almost at the same time both of us said all of them and so i wanted to hop on here because what the fuck is that like it's not like i just learn interest and in, i get interested in something and i dabble in something i like be in like this is my life Tight to where this nigga believe me every time. He don't believe me, but he allows me to do the stuff I do. I am blessed to be with the man who I could tell him tomorrow I want to figure out how to build airplanes and he'll tell me, go for it. He supports me in everything that I do, but he told me right now he can't afford to support me. I got to come back to reality and get a job. And I told him, no, because my spiritual woo-woo called into me a job offer to make more in an hour than I've made in a day as a teacher. So, then he backed off. As a teacher, that was a job. Nigga. You're talking about all the, all the schemes that you got to get rid of. It. All the stuff. I've made money in art. Yeah. Until I really started doing art and people don't want to pay. That's all right. My stuff out to be priceless. <laughs> Here we go with this bullshit. Yo, I got a question. How come no one admits that they eat ass? Like, everybody does it, but nobody, nobody admits it. Admit that they eat ass. Why? Everybody does it. Not everybody. I, of the percentage of the people who say that they don't, I bet you an even smaller percent of them actually don't. And the rest of them are closeted ass eaters. And I just want to know why. What's so freaky about eating somebody's ass? It's not even about freak. Look, first of all, it's something that doesn't need to be discussed publicly. It doesn't, so what are you doing there? Because I'm making a point. Yeah, you discuss it. I didn't say that I eat ass. I'm one of the people who actually don't eat ass. What I'm saying is that the small percentage that actually doesn't is so small and so minute, and we shouldn't even be talking about this, but the fact that when we do talk about it, it's in a negative light that bothers me because it just roots back to the masking and pretending to be something you're not, and that's why it pisses me off. And so we're sitting here and we're writing our love affirmations and I'm on number 20 and I'm like, I will eat the best ass. And Trey's like, what? And I'm like, I mean, you could be the best ass eater if you want to be. And I said, I'm cool. I'm, you got that title. <laughs> and he said, nah, I'm good. You're going to be the best ass eater. And I'm like, yeah, that's number 20. And if while we're reciting our affirmations, while we... And number 20 pop off, and he's repeating in his head while he's in flow, I am the best ass eater. 
Maybe I'll get my maybe I'll get my ass ate. What you think? You going too far. You going too far. You going too far. All right, y'all. Y'all's love affirmations with your booski. I'm just making this shit up as I go. The book is coming, so don't you worry. I'm about to fix y'all's relationships. I'm about to fix y'all. I'm about to be a partner with you. I'm not fixing stuff because I learned yesterday all the things that I gave myself credit for, for doing for Dre since we've been together. I realized I was just the inspiration or the spark. But he did the work. And this whole time, he was like, you didn't do that for me. I did it for you. And I thought he was saying that I didn't help him. And he thought I was saying that he didn't do anything. But yesterday, I realized how much he's done to change his life. We are all stars. We are all exceptional. We all have gifts and talents that if we chose as a society to recognize each other for, we all are celebrities. What's good, y'all? Lonnie Appleton here. If you have a couple minutes, I'm talking the Surviving R. Kelly series, part three on Netflix. This is part 5,099-2000 of my book, my video series on this. This is just a tangled mess of a fur ball that needs to be coughed up and expelled. Let's do the work to prevent the next generation of Aaliyahs and R. Kellys. So we've already talked about as a friend of a predator, you need to call them out as a friend of a little girl who's bragging about going to sleep with older men you need to make her know you need to make i'm not telling to make her feel shame but definitely don't ooh and awe her she is literally going to be raped and you standing next to her like ooh, girl i'm so jealous let me see that louis bag again we need to stop the daddy issues. It ain't daddy issues, it's security issues, it's financial issues. I'm looking for someone to give me the lifestyle that I desire. And a man on my level or at my age group can't give me that, but that older motherfucker over there can. And he got a car. I'm telling my V-card losing story. I'm 14 years old in middle school, losing my V-card to a 21 year old. These videos are gonna give you something. They may give you an ulcer, but go on and alkaline your body out and you'll be okay. So let's talk about predators. Predators are male and female. So let's talk about the female predator first. Our little boys are not being protected. It is a badge of honor, little Wayne, little Boosie son. It is a badge of honor to be sexually violated by an older woman. And the problem is your friend standing around saying, ooh, me too, I wish. Stop that sh Teach your sons that if your friend comes to you and says something like this, you need to let them know that's not right. And I'm not saying you gotta be the killjoy, but don't be a part of the crowd celebrating it. And these people who are exhibiting these unfavorable behaviors, if the people who are cheering them on are no longer cheering them on, guess what? They're gonna do something else to get the attention. We give the attention to the negative behavior. That's why the negative behavior persists. We are the change. We want to see the change, be the change. Now let's talk about the male predators. 